so in this session uh, today i am going to discuss how to delete these rows okay 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 so now my requirement is i need to delete all these rows so let's see how we can code for that okay okay going to the automation okay I'm just creating new one. <coughs> Delete. Excel groups. This is my task. Let me add some more rows. So I'm simply just copying them and pasting here. So to see visually, I'm going with the Excel advanced package now because with the Excel advanced only, we can able to see the visually, right? With the Excel basic, the operations will be happen, but you will not able to see them visually. So that's the reason this time I'll go with the Excel advanced, but I'll be using okay. the same commands, whatever common in both Excel basic and Excel advanced. Okay. Okay. So. So one I'm simply opening the file. Just you keep on mute. So if you have any queries, you can unmute and ask me. Okay. As noise is coming. This is the file, and uh, sheet name is the example. Example is my sheet name because here I need to delete the things, right? So, to deleting the things means that means we are updating the Excel file. That's why I took the read and write mode. See, read only mode, just we can read the data, will not be changed the data, will not be able to change the data by using read only mode. So, deleting is deleting nothing but changing the excel data right so that's why i am opening this in the read and write mode and here i will be giving the excel session okay it's not that okay let me give the so, okay i'm just going with the default okay i just opened this next what i'll do is i'll say Cell in the Excel advanced command itself, I'll be using that go to cell and I'll say that go to specific cell that is A1. Okay, save it. Next, what I'll do is I'll use the get cell command, get single cell is there, right? So, this one I'll be using the get single cell. And I'll be using the active cell because here in the before uh, command, I make sure that my cursor or else my bot is going to the specific cell or specific group. That means already defined, right? So that's why here I am directly using the active cell. So now here I'm just taking the read cell value so here two things is there read the visible text in the cell and read cell value see the difference see if you choose this one for suppose there is a data like 50 percent and that will be read as 50 percent only but if you go with this feature that special character will be removed and you will be getting the data so this is the difference so here we have characters right anyhow let it be I'm going with the visible text only and the session name is the default only. Save. Once I get it, I need to store somewhere. Right? Simply I'll store that in the sample state. So far I did the only small stuff. First I opened the Excel file. Then I mentioned that go to the A1 cell. Then just get the active cell value. So here, what is the active cell? A1 cell, correct? 
So now that active cell value can be picked up and that can be stored in the variable called sample state. Now I'll build a logic. So loop, taking the loop, and here, not iterator, I'll go with the while. While, means as for variable. String condition, because this is the string variable, right? I am assigning the value to the string variable, right? That's why I took the condition on top of string. So source value is sample string. Not equals to null. Not equals to. I'm simply leaving this as it is. Not equals to null. Then I'll say go to the Excel. And I'll go with the delete cells. Oh. Delete cells and delete the active cells of the cell of the default session. See now what will be happen? You know, first I open this file and I told that go to A1 and get the value from A1. Okay. Once I get the value from A1, if that value is not equals to null, delete the active cell. Okay. I'll be deleting this see once i delete it again the active cell is a1 only see like this this loop will work one after one another until the value becomes null so like this it will work so again once it's delete again it has to get the value again i took that same command get single cell and i'll paste over here what will be happen first open excel go to a1 and get the active cell value and assign to the sample string and now what is the active cell a1 that means get the value from a1 and assign to the sample string if the sample string value is not equal to null that means there is a data in a1 cell right then delete that entire row here i am choosing that entire row once deleted that again get the value from active cell the reason is once i deleted this active cell the below row will come into the first place right that means it will check it again what is our requirement until unless deleting the entire data the bot should not terminate right that means all the rows should be deleted that's the reason i wrote the condition like this whenever we get the blank that means all rows has been deleted like that we can conclude that for suppose after deleting like this it will reach to blank whenever it's reached to the blank this loop will be failing and the file will be closed so when we wrote the close excel file here let me write it close if you want to save the changes, you can save it. If you don't want to save that, you need not to save it. So, but uh, what I'll do is to demonstration purpose, I'm just disabling this save feature. See, now let me close this one. Don't see. <clears throat> Run it. We'll see that whether this uh, logic will work to delete all the rows in the excel file or not <laughs> see it is deleting everything see it's deleted everything as i haven't uh, Enable the close command. This file not closed. Otherwise, it would be closed. Okay. But here I have a doubt. Let me tell you a scenario. So the same file. And the requirement also same. It has to delete all the data in this file. Okay. But here. 
is a blank. See, in middle, there is a blank. In this case, will it give the expected result or not? Let's see that. Okay. Again, I'm going to run the same bot. This time, see, it will be deleting up to that empty cell. After that, rest of the data will not be deleted and bot completion will be, sorry, bot execution will be completed. Okay. Let me run it. rest of the data was not deleted. So this is not the best way of coding to achieve these kind of requirements. Okay. So how can we do that then? How can we do that is simple thing. Here in the same logic, what I'll do is the Excel at once. Here, I didn't select the contents header, okay? First thing. Then, I'm deleting all the rest of the comments. Let me go to the list view. It will be easy for me to delete the stuff. Simply, I'll go to the get multiple cells. Get multiple cells. From here. Okay, all rows has to be it and I'm not assigning it to the any variable. Then what I'll do is here I'll say that go to where is this? Okay, let me remove this filter. Then you can see that the go to feature. Go to cell. Once we get the multiple cells, I'll say even you can say here also. Go to cell specific cell A1. I mentioned that the cursor should be in A1. Then I'm getting the multiple cells. And we need to assign to a variable. It is expecting. Okay, let me assign this output to one table variable. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll go to the loop. In the loop, I'll take the Excel advanced loop. In the iteration, this time now I'm not going with the while condition. This time I'm just going with the iteration. Excel advanced for each row worksheet. We already discussed how to loop through the data using Excel files, right? So I simply kept it. I don't want to save all this stuff. It's not required for me in this scenario because here I'm just performing the delete operation. If you want to get that, I mean, if you want to read the data and if you need to perform any operations, then you need to assign that data to the some record variable and you will perform the operations accordingly. But here you need not to use the data. Just simply you need to delete it. Okay. So that's why I kept like this, but it is showing the error symbol because even though we are using or not, this is a mandatory to assign some variable. That's why, okay, let me create that record type variable and assign it. So I saved it. This warning symbol is gone now. Now what I'll do is, again, I'll go to the Excel advance and I'll go to the delete cells, delete the active cell. And I'll put the delete cell inside the loop. And I want to delete the active cell only. Okay. If you write the logic in this way, see this time it will work as expected. So remember this in sometimes, even though the bot is giving the expected results, that might not be the correct logic. So we need to think all possibilities and we need to build the code accordingly okay but uh, here also it is not uh, moving the reason is i'll tell you why it's not what let me put this so here in the delete cell command i said that shift cell left actually it should be entire row.
let's run this time see even that blank row is there in middle also we achieved the expected output like this we need to analyze the requirement and we need to build the logic we need to understand the requirement properly then only we can able to build the robust logic if we use the logic which we built first time that is not the full proof in some scenarios that might be failed but whenever we build the second logic that is the full proof logic even depends on the requirement this logic also may not be worth in that particular requirement. In this requirement, it fits. It doesn't mean in the, all the delayed scenarios, this logic will work. Okay, depends on the requirement. You need to understood and you need to analyze the scenarios and you need to build the logic. So this is about deleting the rows from Excel file.